And then, of course, there's the cold. More record lows were set today in Ontario. It dipped as low as minus 24 in Toronto. And as Christina Stevens reports, that caused havoc with the city's public transit system. Toronto's morning commute was nothing short of an icy mess, with multi-vehicle pileups grinding traffic to a halt. Downtown, in some cases, it took hours to get frozen streetcars on the move. These uh, lines with the moisture in them froze, and as a result, we were short about 48 cars this morning. It wasn't just transit. Some car batteries didn't fare too well with the cold either. It won't start at all. Got to leave it for, I don't know, 15 minutes now, and it'll finally hopefully start up. With temperatures dipping to minus 35 with the wind chill, there are only so many ways to describe it. It's cold. It's extremely cold. It's cold. Uh, winter gloves. At the Good Neighbors Club drop-in center, they couldn't hand out warm clothes to men in need fast enough to keep up with the line. Everyone just wants gloves and hats and a lot of socks and boots and coats. It was so cold overnight, a burst pipe turned this building into an ice cube. And across the region, there were multiple reports of what people thought were mini earthquakes and turned out to be frostquakes. When water in the ground freezes, expands quickly, pressure builds, and it cracks. We get almost a, a sonic boom, a, a loud noise that goes off. It tends to be a very localized phenomenon. A frostquake woke up Aaron Katz with a bang. But the whole house seemed to shake. It sounded like a car, like our neighbor's car went right through the garage. Ottawa facing bone chilling temperatures as well, leaving this resident questioning his judgment. And we were wondering why we'd emigrated to Canada as opposed to the other options we had available at the time. In Winnipeg, things have improved. This feels like summer. <laughs> what? Their improvement only brings them up to the minus 20 range with the wind chill. Things are still frigid, and there is no immediate end to the deep freeze in sight. Long John's jeans and another pair of pants on top of that. While further west in the prairies, they're also feeling the bite of winter, being buffeted by snow and gusting winds. Back in Toronto, only a brief weather reprieve, warmer temperatures tomorrow, but then heavy snow Sunday and bitterly cold winds Monday. Robin? Christina Stevens in Toronto. Thanks, Christina. By the way, for more on what causes the frostquake phenomenon, you can check out our website at globalnews.ca.